Big Bass Life with another informative, informative, informative video, man. We're going to hop right into it, man. Uh, Fashion Week, New York, uh, Pusha T, Mr. Drop That Off, Mr. Cocaina, Mr. I Wrap Them Up and Send Them To You, The Plug, Mr. I Get It From The uh, Cubans, I Get It From The Colombians. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, it's just getting worse, man. Like, the agenda is real, and it's getting real. This is Big Bass Life, man. I, I just got to go in on it. Uh, what happened to that boy? Industry rainbow money got into that boy. Used to listen to Nas. Now he's sitting next to Nas X. Greek freak, fashion week, thanking the Giannis. Ugh. Ugh. I guess Drake won this one, man. If we go back and look at all of that bullshit that Pusha was pushing, oh, the wordplay was spectacular, but not to this level. Drake ain't never put it on this level. Well, they caught up with Pusha T at the uh, Fashion Week, of course, and his brother in crime, Pharrell, as you, as you can see in the video. They gave him the vacancy of the Louis Vuitton... <coughs> He gave him the Louis Vuitton job. And his statement was, I think it's great. It's great for the culture. It's great for hip hop. It's great for fashion. Yada, 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 yada. Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that bullshit. But anyway, you got these guys that are pushing the agenda. Of course, you got Pusha T. Of course, you got, <laughs> you got Pharrell. I mean, all of these guys are lined up. These are not the epitome of masculinity. Just because you rap about slinging dope don't mean you really picked up and, and did the damn thing. And a lot of y'all don't understand, like, me coming from a background as a just a, 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 just being in the, in the industry. The reason why I was never put on because I would never go along with the bullshit. As talented as I am and as talented as I, I, I continue to be, and, you know, doing multiple things because I wasn't just rapping. I was doing beats and everything. You got to understand, like, this industry, they vet you. There's no way they're going to allow you to get to a certain point without vetting you. Vetting you is going to these parties. Vetting you is making sure that you are going to be. See, Pusha T is in this position right now because he has been vetted through and through. So trust and believe. They have video footage somewhere sitting in a vault of him doing some felonious, felonious shit. Best believe that. So for him to sit there and to walk in there with the puppy, the hush puppy shoes on, to walk in there with that puppy. This is a, this is Mr. Dope Man. This is Mr. Gangster Gangster here walking in looking like Carlton with the puppy bag. So best and believe, you're seeing the agenda played out. They're getting so bold with it, they putting it in your face. So understand and know that it, it, it lives in hip-hop. Hip-hop is corrupted. I can say that. Hip-hop is corrupted. Understand, when Pimp C started speaking out on a certain community, you see what happened to Pimp C. And everybody in that circle, and, and, and you know, they understand what the agenda was about. And they understand that it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't an accident. Because you got to understand the media, all of these entities, law enforcement, all of that shit works together. It works hand in hand. How you think Trade the Truth, don't mean to switch gears, but how you think Trade the Truth is able to do what he do in Houston? And you don't hear about it. The shit just goes away. The shit just goes away. See, artists can do certain things in certain cities and the shit just go away. Y'all know what's going on in Houston. You don't hear about, you know, shit, shit just mysteriously disappear because the business and all of this works hands in hand in hand. It works hand in hand. So to see Pusha T, that's a coming out party. So when you see Pusha T in this situation right now, sitting next to Lil Nas X with the socks, the matching socks, he got one on the left, he got one on the right, you know what it is. 
So don't play games. Don't freaking play games. You can act like, oh, it's a conspiracy. Oh, it's this, is that. No, it's a coming out party. There's different ways they have coming out parties. They have coming out parties in the form of movies. Where they will put you in a role and maybe throw you in a dress. Maybe throw you in a compromising scene. Maybe put you in shock. Or maybe put you in, 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 in P Valley. And let you kiss a boy or let a boy sit on you and grind on you and all that type of stuff. It's a coming out party. Best believe. This is Big Bad's life, man. Push a T. Uh, I'm taking you out of my playlist. I'm through with you, nigga. I'm through with you. You didn't live up to the expectations of who you say you were. And you are who I've always known you to be. You are the ice cream man. Big Bad's life. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Come on, man. What happened to that boy? Oh, what happened? Ain't that kind of fitting that he had a song called What Happened to That Boy? Because definitely, like, you know, the man thing is is gone. Ain't no more, ain't no more men. It's, it's, it's you hard pressed to find men, masculine men in, in, in hip hop. The only type of men you're going to find in hip hop, he got to be overly savage. He got to be overly crazy. He just got to be, Ooh, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot up everything. I'm going to kill everything. That's the type of niggas you don't, you don't find intelligence. You don't find class personified. You don't find regulation. You don't find those who speak up and speak out. Those who stand their ground, those who stand on it, those who speak from an intelligent and a logical point of view, those who actually have something to say, that ain't the business we in. I'm in the business of where niggas go to the studio, they smoke blunts, talk about bitches and talk about jewelry, talk about the latest, the greatest, what you got on, what you driving, what you ain't got, but they ain't talking about the community because they don't give a fuck about the community. When they leave the community, they're going to their lavish spot with their white girls and with all of their fantasies that they have in their head. I'm just giving you the real. I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all want to hear fantasy. But this is Big Bass Life with another informative, informative video. Hit the button, comment, subscribe. You dig? to the greatest show on earth where rappers die for your entertainment and they rap about killing other rappers listen this is special kind of circus i've been raised on a special kind of surface god created me a special kind of earth i'm living right under a special kind of serpent only god can judge me damn right he's perfect